Now we are going to look at creating a report for the same database table question 7. So when you create a report make sure that nothing is open like as you see here I don't have anything open and then I'm going to click create and then we go to report wizard. So all the columns that I I should I should add to the report I will make sure that I select them. So I want all my columns to be part of the report. So I click the double arrow and then I can finish there. So this is the report in case if it's going to include all my column headings. So I want to calculate so that I get the total of all this risk contribution. So keep in mind this heading risk contribution because when you calculate on Microsoft Access you are going to specify the column that it should calculate so you check the spelling and how it has been written there so what we do now I'm just going to close print preview then it takes me straight to design so on design I've got a tool there for the control tools and then a b is for calculations i can click on it and then now i want to uh, put my calculation label or a typing area where i'm going to calculate so calculations will happen under report footer so i'm just going to make sure i'm in line with risk contribution but under report footer here where there is nothing then I can hold my mouse and start to draw that AB. When I release, you can see that it opens a grid with text where I can write the text which will talk to what I'm calculating. So I'm going, I'm going to write total here. And then here where it says unbound, I will say equals to then sum like we know from Microsoft Excel then a sum must come with its own function bracket because sum is a function but since well I'm going to tell sum that it must find the numbers inside a column then I include a column bracket inside the column bracket I write the name of the column that I said we must note in the beginning risk contribution I close the column bracket then I close the function so when I press enter there it means now my form or my report is ready to display the answer so I will only see the answer if I go to form view or report view so I'm going because this is a report I will go to view and click a report view so you will see that total is there and here is my total figure which shows that all these numbers were added together if I want to calculate average below this then I will still have to go to view and then click design below there I will take a B again and draw where I'm going to calculate the average then obviously here where it says text I will type the average the average text and then inside here I must calculate the average so on Microsoft Access equals to we don't say average in full is going to be AVG you open because it's a function open function bracket we open a column bracket then we write the same thing carefully making sure that the spelling is correct contribution I close the function the column bracket first then I close the function bracket when I press enter then I will go to view report view then I have my total and I have my average so if you are going to show these two as currency you will have to go to view 
design view again when you click one of them when it's orange then we are looking for the properties then I can right click and go to properties down the properties then the properties will open on the right hand side so format and then I will have to look for the format which will be currency so I will change and choose currency and then decimal places we can choose two decimals same as average click average the properties there on the right format currency yeah. and then decimals we have to choose two yeah. just like that then view yeah. then i will have to go and choose design yeah. and then view report view so we see that that is how you do calculations on a report thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share so that others will also learn thank you for watching